Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we were actually at the Fort Dawnguard, uh, basically selling stuff and whatnot, and still trying to get crossbow schematic stuff done. I figured I'd come home and drop a few things. Uh, I'm about at uh, 3... <laughs> 305 carrying weight, which is not great considering I have a maximum of 455, but it, it still leaves some room, about 150, and eventually I'll be dealing with all the potions I have that are at this point now useless, because I assume a lot of the weight is from that, as well as carrying a lot of food and ingredients. So, yeah, we'll be dealing with that, and I, and I assume the Elder Scroll might also have something to do with that as well. But, if I remember correctly, it's not supposed to count for my carry weight, so I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't fucking know. So I'll just find out. Alright. Now the next one, if I remember correctly, is at Falthime Towers, which is a little bit between Windhelm and Whiterun. It's on the little road there. So, yeah, that'll be where we go next. It might be a while. Because, you know, it likes to do that. <laughs> Alright, and where's the closest I can go? Uh, Shimmer Mist Cave. I was about to say Cove, but that's wrong. Okay. Azura is a Daedric Prince of Dusk and Dawn, and one of the few not considered to be inherently evil. And then we, uh... Gave them the middle finger and got the black star, so, you know. <laughs> the School of Illusion focuses on the manipulation of an enemy's mind and is used to cast spells like fear, charm, and invisibility. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, shit. Um, Dragon Ring. Fuck, I missed. I didn't have a shout for that. I was trying to do a shout. Oh shit. Holy fuck. That's an elder dragon. I uh, severely underestimated my ability to stand up to that breath attack. Um, resist fire. Um, yeah, I need some healing. Uh, use the weak fortify health. Oh, I'm still losing a lot of health. Holy tits. Holy tits. Okay. And I accidentally used Sunfire, which does absolutely nothing against dragons. Oop. Got frozen with the ice pad. Um. Dragon Ren. That'll keep it down for a while. Great sword. Okay. And, uh, Zurana will probably distract it enough hits, and... Or not. <laughs> oh, Elder Dragons. You fucked me up so bad. Okay. Whew. Did I set the difficulty, like, differently? Because I'm recalling... For some reason, I upped the difficulty on some game. I don't recall if it was Skyrim. But that might explain why I got murdered so quickly with that hit. <laughs> Woo! Zoom it back out. The smithing skill is used to create weapons and armor from raw materials. There we go. Uh, did I... Did I do that? Yes, I did. I went up to Expert. That explains why I died. <laughs> Let's just keep that an adept for now. Because <laughs> I suck. <laughs> maybe later, maybe, I'll re-up it. But for now, no. I'm not good enough. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Shimmermus Cove, because I know the dragon will be there again. Now we're going to be round two. 
The horses of Skyrim are hardy and strong and make up for endurance what they lack in speed. Which is always good. If you don't have speed, you might as well have endurance. That's... That's uh, innuendo in there somewhere. In your endo. Oh! Okay. Yep, I'm going to swap my spell. Dragon Rend and Firebolt. There we go. Because I know it's here. Yeah, it's still here. Did I hit it? I hit it. Cool. Um, what the? I don't have it on the other hand? There we go. He landed over there. He landed over there. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Fucking tit balls. Shit. Fuck. Okay. Yep. Okay. I heard bear. So that's not good. Oh, he's not fully rendered in. It's just regular skin for right now. Not even. What the? <laughs> Vampire fledglings ran in trying to get a good piece of us and uh, they got killed by a dragon. Yeah, this dragon's not fully spawned in. Okay, and let's pull out the great sword for right now. Of course, it's slaughter fish. It went that far? Oh shit. Okay, um, as you can see, because the textures are not fully loaded in, the blood is just floating around the body. Um, uh, let's get this in us. Uh, poison of damage health. Poison of slow, that would be good. But I don't think it would work on a dragon. Um, and I kind of want to sell that anyhow, because it has a lot of value to it. Um, this one right now. Okay, and I'm also getting hit by that vampire over there. I pop this one. Uh, pop some more healing. Uh, there's some minor healing. I'll drink that up and then use this. And I think I should also do a resist fire, because he's using that a lot. Down you go. Whoop. Uh, that's not the correct one. Ooh, they brought me down a lot in health. Um, okay. Another healing. And fortify health a bit. There we go. And down you go. I need some spell resistance in my gear. I need that. Oh, that's Quicksilver. Or, didn't mean to pick that up. I mean, it's useful, but I didn't mean to pick it up. And eventually... Well, I absorbed the Dragon Soul, yes. Yeah, there, it's now done. Oh. Yep, I figured it wouldn't be much. But, uh, look at that. Now we can't tell if the texture would have loaded in correctly, because... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? I made her a Dwarven Sword because of the screw-up I made last episode. And put Absorb Health on it. And here's one with a stronger enchantment. Motherfucker. God damn it. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, I noticed there was like a risen wolf somewhere. There it is. It, it would have become an ash pile by now anyway. And yeah, there we fucking go. Okay. <laughs> that was a thing. Now, we'll head in the direction we intended to go. Northeast. Woo! Probably would have been better with a horse. Uh, oh boy. Um, Drain by Talon. I haven't seen that version in a while. Here. And down the cave there it goes. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's a common soul. I'm listening a lot today. Pretty 
pretty sure that is a common soul. It is. And I don't have any common souls open, so I went to a greater soul gem. God damn it. Tits on a biscuit. There we go. Okay. Enough of that. We go on ahead. Man, this game is pretty. It, it still holds up. I mean, it, it's only like four years old now, but yeah, it still holds up pretty well. Who would have thunk? A game made four years ago would be so good right now. Okay. Now, where am I on the map? I'm a little bit north of it. What is this? What is this little fort here? I want to figure out what this fort is. Because I don't recall seeing it. Oh. Oh, I remember now. Okay. Uh, fire breath and fire bolt. Because this is a spell... <laughs> this is a spell fort. Uh, a bunch of uh, wizards and whatnot. It helped if you're aiming correctly. Okay. That's an apprentice fire mage, so I really was wasting my time. Why is it still stuck to the side like that? Okay. I thought I had my weapons out, so I was confused. There we go. And... Let's take out the sword for this one. And it's close. Oh, well not. <laughs> oh! Harvest blood! That's the High Elf. So, that's all of that done. Cool. Alright. And that's a Flame Atronach. And let's search her real quick before we run the hell away. Because they tend to explode in a fire explosion. Horse meat. Ugh. Okay. That was useful. Oh, let's take those green apples for our kid. Should we head back to the home later? Um... Apprentice Fire Mage. This one also... Yeah, this one's also a High Elf. I could have gotten it from him, too. Alright. I'll take the cabbages and leeks. Because food is good. Food is life. <laughs> Potatoes. Okay. I don't know why I made that joke. Um, onwards! After we pick up the lavender. Onwards! Towards the towers! Alright. Head up this little bit of a hill. And I think... Oh, yeah. well, there's something over here. Oh. You're a petty soul. Is that mine? <laughs> Alright. And it had a silver ring. I wonder why I had that. Uh, yeah. We just need to go down from here. Uh... Not that far down. Uh, but that is a long drop. Oh, fuck. And the normal way to go is that way, so we kind of really went the wrong way there. Um, I'm going to slowly make my way down there. Oh, God, it sounded like he was choking on something. Probably his own blood. Even though it didn't take any health off me, any significant health. Alright, let's go this way. Because I know this way. What the? What is with that glitch? It's happened a lot recently. Where it's the water, when you're getting near it, it'll, like, throw something forward in it. But you're, like, a mile away from it. Where the hell did you come from, Serana? Oh, for fuck's sake. You triggered them. Okay, knock that one down. Down you go. <laughs> Went through her guard to take her down. That was... That was awesome. Well, time towers. Uh, fire breath. Okay, I was just making sure I had my stuff on. My correct stuff. Go through the wooden door here. And this is just minor healing. Oh, there's a chest. It's also booby-trapped. Back up. Okay. And she's just sniping them with spells from the floor. Or 
ground. Not floor. Uh, let's see if I can knock this one down. Yep, I did. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he has a lot of power behind his hits. Okay. Uh, use up these. And use up the minor healing. There we go. Okay. He is down. And... Should I take the armor? I mean, it's almost a full set. Just needs the helmet. Eh, nah, that's good. I'm fine. Now let's loot these ones. The other one probably fell to the ground, so there's no point trying to find him. Probably just went flying down that way. And we're gonna snipe this guy with firebolts. Oh, that's gonna hit. And you're down, bitch. <laughs> and it gave me destruction skill. Awesome. Alright, whoop. Didn't mean to hit you there. Okay. And that's a, just a bunch of barrels with a bunch of food stuff. That's another potion of minor healing. Yeah, fuck it. We'll pick it up. And. Yep, that's where he is loot his absolutely nothing <laughs> and the chest with the stuff should be right up here right left left right right left up here there it is there it is uh, glass bow all that stuff uh, dwarven hall we already know what it's gonna say it said it every single time the bolt schematic Bring it back to Serene. Okay. Minor healing. Black Arrow. Uh, volume 2, I think. I've already read that, so there's no point. I wasn't entirely sure if I read that. But I figured I'd check anyway. What's here? Hunting Bow of Arcing. Usually it's a pretty high-level bow, but that's uh, kind of shit. Um, hmm. There's something else here, wasn't there? Yeah, Minor Healing, Frost Miriam, Elves Ear, Garlic. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I can make for what I got. Oh, I know what you mean. I know very well what you mean. Uh, resist Poison, Storm Magicka. Uh, if I can find a way to plant that, that'd be great. Then I'd do that. Maybe in the new house. Maybe in that new house. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what we doing now? Heading back to Serene to drop off that thing. And then we'll see where the next one is. Nope. Fort Dawnguard. There we go. Alrighty. That wasn't my microphone kicking out, by the way. That was me going, ip, 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 ip. Because I'm weird. <laughs> oh boy. Surprisingly, my microphone has been holding up surprisingly well, uh, considering how many tumbles it's taken <laughs> from my drunk ass knocking it over. Okay. Into Dawn Guard we go. I'm just making sure that there's a wide enough space between my pop filter and my mic. I was thinking that might be causing some of the uh, reverberation issues. Because I'm not that loud. I'm really not. Well, not usually that loud. To be blowing out the mic. So. Alrighty. She's right over there. Uh, of course she is. That's where she always is. Serene! Hope you're getting along with Isron. It takes some getting used to. Yes, I am back. <laughs> he does. I'm back from the keep. Whoa, you're really close. With the exploding shock bolt schematic. Back already? Can't wait. Okay. Ooh, this diagram explains how to fashion a bolt that will send a jolt of shock through whatever it hits. Ooh. Testing this will require some extra precautions, I think. Probably. 
Gary. A little bit. Let me show you how this works. <laughs> that gives me resist shock. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can I do I'm to help? Starting to think you like this as much as I do. A little bit. A little bit. Here's the location of the next set of dormant ah. diagrams. Thanks. Awesome. Rald Bathar is a bit of a trek, but that is the dwarven crossbow itself, which is a huge step up from the steel crossbow that everyone else is using, and somewhat better than the enhanced crossbow. I'll eventually be able to get the dwarven enhanced crossbow, which will be with the ignore 50% of armor and the dwarven stats, which is awesome. But that will be a while yet. <laughs> uh, let's get to the next one going. Rald Bathar, and let's see on the map how much of a trek it actually would be. Uh, right there. For some reason, I thought it'd be more of a trek. Okay. Well, there we go. We know what we're doing now, and I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together. And look at my Patreon and consider whether you want to subscribe or not and support me in this endeavor or not. It's completely up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.